Well, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation once again drawing attention to our province's debt. A clock ticking away showing the debt increasing by more than $11.2 million a day, estimating Alberta's debt will hit $17, $17 billion by the year 2015. That's not far away. Joining us now from the CTF is Derek Philibrandt to talk more about this, bringing attention to Alberta's return to debt. Uh, this is unreal, uh, this number, as it continues to grow. And we've seen the number, the clock you guys have set up. You see it tick away. Even if you are comfortable with international finances, when you start seeing that number move as quickly as it does, uh, it gets heart racing a little bit, doesn't it? It does, especially for Alberta. I mean, uh, provinces across the country are still running deficits. Our federal government is still running deficits. Um, but for whatever excuses they have, we don't. I mean, uh, we are the most prosperous jurisdiction in North America. Uh, we used to be one of the only jurisdictions in the world, and certainly the only one in Canada, with no debt. I mean, we had a fif just five years ago, we had $15 billion in the sustainability fund, meant to get us through... Uh, short-term deficits. And we were promised by Premier Stelmach at the time that these things were going to be short-term and this is, uh, we're never going to go into debt. It's just, we're just going to use a few, uh, few billion out of the sustainability fund. We'll be back in the clear. But the problem is once governments start running deficits, it's really hard to change their culture. It's not that, you know, one or two billion dollars of debt is inherently bad in itself, but it's what it represents and that it allows governments to no longer have the restraints on themselves. They, uh, they unleash themselves and there's, there's no end to it until, uh, until you hit a wall. This is the number uh, right here on your screen, clicking away. That's the actual clock that's ticking away. 11, over 11 million a day? Yeah, it's over 11 million a day. And it's uh, by the end of this fiscal year, by March 31st of uh, 2014, we're going to have uh, an accumulated deficit of uh, $8.2 billion. By the end of uh, the next fiscal year, that'll be $12 billion. And before the next election, we're going to have an ad a debt, as you said earlier, of $17 billion. Uh, accumulated and as I you know, this year we're running a 4.1 billion dollar debt on top of it is there a balance uh, not making excuses for any government uh, that goes into debt but can you say is it fair to say that you have to spend money like are you are you trying to accomplish being a cheap province or are you trying to be a, a world-class province uh, does it cost money to be great at times you know uh, when you take out when you take on a large debt load. I mean, you're, you're going to be crowding out spending eventually with interest payments. The government's making the argument right now that, hey, we need to borrow this money uh, to build. Well, you know what? We actually did build in the past. It's just that we had to tighten the purse strings quite, uh, quite significantly in the early 1990s. And it was a pretty tough time to get through that. But uh, we went through the pain already. And as the province started growing, we could reinvest in infrastructure and the the way to do it was to start reinvesting but not uh, to take on debt to do it because the more more debt you take on everyone knows the more interest you're going to pay so 20 years from now we're not going to be able to build a lot of infrastructure if we want to have long-term stable infrastructure funding long-term funding on the operational side uh, we've got to stay clear of debt you know ask Ontario ask Quebec they're paying a large portion of their but every tax dollar right now goes towards interest payments. Now, we're pretty new coming back into debt. Um, it's going to be a while before we have a massive crowding out of spending, but you know, on the projections we're on, uh, the velocity in which we're going into debt is actually steeper than really at any point during the Getty years. And the Getty years, they're dealing with $20, $30 a barrel oil. I mean, Frankly, we're dealing with oil right now that Ralph Klein would have uh, been grateful for. So quickly, as we, again, look at this number live ticking away along our screen here, $11 million a day, <laughs> it starts to make you sweat a little bit. You see that kind of money going by. Uh, is there a turnaround point? Can the province get this back? I think so. I mean, uh, right now what we're trying to do is diagnose the disease. And I think there's uh, agreement on the left and right of the spectrum, I, I think the government disagrees. The government's hell-bent on going into debt right now. We're trying to change their minds. Um, that's the business we're in. But I know uh, we uh, have broad agreement from the Liberals, the NDP, and, uh, and the Wild Rose that we should not be going into debt. Now, our, our, our cures for how we fix that are different. We might disagree with the Liberals or the New Democrats uh, who want to raise taxes to to deal with that. That's a legitimate argument, but I, I think it's at least, uh, while we're against raising taxes, I think it's at least uh, a more honest argument to raise taxes uh, to pay for today's spending rather than 
to, uh, to put it on the credit card to make our children pay for you it. You give them credit for at least making an attempt. Yeah, I, I think it's an attempt. I think it's intellectually honest. I think it's, I think it's wrong. I think it's the wrong way to go. But at least it's more honest than just sweeping it under the rug. We have an advanced, uh, a very detailed program of spending cuts and spending restraints that we would make in order to balance the budget and stop this. Let's show your website. We have the website up here as well. There's the website where you can go to taxpayer.com where mm -hmm. you can take a look at the clock at, at your well, own leisure. And, and directly at uh, albertadebtclock.ca, that'll take you straight to it. Uh, and you can see Alberta's uh, debt counting up in real time, a per capita debt already. And we've just started going to debt. We have a per capita debt of uh, $1,927 for every man, woman, and child across the province. So wow. a child born today has got that debt. And as I said, we're, we're just starting. That's not, uh, that's not anywhere where we're going to be stomping. All right. Thanks so much for your time, Derek. Appreciate the uh, insight. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone, my voice may not be heard. But together, our voices can't be ignored.